lights out on that pace car. Jeff Striegel's job title says he's the head NASCAR radio play-by-play -play announcer. Over Kurt Busch, Matt DiBenedetto. But that is not the way he sees it. Let's, let's do it right, Mike. Let's make sure we do it right. Okay, okay. Instead, the Wyoming native views himself more as a co-anchor which is a much more accurate description of his role. I think what makes magic for radio is the fact that all of our mics are always live. You see, unlike most sports, NASCAR and the Motor Racing Network doesn't use one play-by-play -play announcer to describe the action. They use four. When we get going, we do a baton-style handoff. With the Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet. They've got one more shot at Ryan Blaney. I'll pick up. They sort it out. They continue on. And then the others will take off behind me. One final shot off the corner. They'll try to cross over. They make it sound so easy. Along with racing legend Rusty Wallace serving as an analyst, they have two play-by-play -play announcers in the booth and two others around the track, each stationed at a corner. Now, here's what's really impressive. It's all voice inflection. After a wild slide off the end of the back straightaway. And the down pitch of the voice is the cue that the next announcer's up next. The cars go to the apron in turn number one. Yup, that's right. There's no button cueing them up, nor is there someone screaming in their ear to start talking. In fact, all producer Ryan Horn primarily does is make sure they make their sponsors happy. I mean, they, they're able to carry these things, you know, with all the experience they have, they, they, have, they have it kind of locked down. The multi-play-by-play -play -play announcer approach actually began in 1970 when the Motor Racing Network was formed. Back then, the MRN felt NASCAR needed a shot in the arm. Well, it got one. It's intense, uh, non-stop, and most of all, fun. One more run by Byron and it will come up short. Is it an art? Um, I don't know, but there is always that feeling when you know that the entire group gelled and you delivered the best performance possible. And when that happens, it's not only a win for them. Then Ryan did not let go. It's one for the audience, too. Mike Lissette, 13 on your side sports.